This is Tyler with TJX Survival. I am up filming in the backcountry and I decided to take a break and talk to you a little bit about these beaver gloves. You see me filming in a lot of my videos. I've almost always got one of two different types of beaver gloves or gauntlets on my hands. I get a lot of questions about them. A lot of people asking me where can they get them? How can they get a hold of them? My first answer to you is make them. But that is not a good answer for a lot of people I realize. So, a friend of mine named Tim Curry made me these guys right here. I ordered these beaver furs, well, I got them from another friend of mine that does a lot of trapping up north. You can go buy furs online. I'll find a website for you, leave it in the, in the discussion box below. I, you know, outside of finding the furs, I'm not sure how you're gonna do that. But once you've found them, and maybe even Tim has some, Tim will make you some furs like this, okay? Let's talk a little bit about beaver fur, mittens, and why. Why beaver fur? Well, beavers stay warm when they're wet, okay? These little guys swim through the rivers and lakes and they are still warm because of a very, very, very high count of fur uh, that is inside of beaver fur. Also, why is it furry on the outside and not on the inside? Well, because the way that every animal works is as they sweat, their fur pulls that liquid out and away from the base, um, base leather. So if you're in an extreme cold environment and your hands start to get wet, or if you start to sweat from working in an extreme cold environment, these furs will take that sweat, wick it away from your skin, and manifest it in the form of frost on the outside of the fur. All you need to do is just brush it off. You can see these are still a little bit wet because they're kind of combing down. But all you need to do is brush that off and you're drying yourself out. Having the ability to dry in a wet or very cold environment, as they get hit with snow, is very, very important. And that's why I'm constantly wearing beaver fur gloves instead of normal gloves. Because once they get wet while I'm working, they dry themselves out. All right guys, hopefully this is valuable to you. Um, Another thing about beaver furs is if it's really cold, wear some sort of like a sock type glove liner underneath it that is, that is wool. If you have that wool, even when wool gets wet, you're good to go. So that way you can fight the, the cold by wearing the wool base layer, take your glove off, mess with stuff, put your glove back on, and still stay warm. A lot of these are used on Iditarod races and that type of thing because it can handle the direct cold weather blowing right against it and still stay toasty. Okay guys, if you're interested in a pair of these gloves, I'm going to leave a link to Tim's Facebook down below. He can make you a pair. I don't know the price. Just ask him about that stuff. I know what I paid for mine, but I'll let him negotiate on that. Hopefully this video is valuable to you and thank you for watching TJX Survival.